looking at the inside of a Toyota Tundra Crewmax Platinum. Uh, this particular one is a 2015 and today we're going to show you how to wire up the recurve system to work with your stock system. Uh, generally pe people do this because they want to an add an amplifier or amplifiers to their stock system so they can add speakers, subwoofer, there's our uh, double subwoofer box, um, that's a kicker subwoofer box. I'll zoom in a little bit on it just to show you guys. It's ported. Sounds really nice. Um, there you've got our recurve system. It's already wired up in place. Uh, in a second I'll show you where the amplifier is located. But this truck is pretty much ready to roll. We're just going to show you how the recurve ties in to the stock system. So I'm going to change the camera angle here. I'm going to set it up on a tripod. And then I'm going to show you how to get it all wired up. Almost forgot. Uh, you can see we've got the amp installed underneath the driver seat. Uh, that amp is one we've been using quite a bit. It's the ja uh, Exile Javelin amp. It's 100 watts to each speaker. That's RMS. And then it's 500 watts at 4 ohms or 800 watts at 2 ohms to the subwoofer. Um, if you're not really sure what that means, don't worry. We've got videos to explain that as well. But basically, that's a big powerhouse that fits uh, that, that drives all the speakers and the subwoofer. First step, uh, let me get over here. First step uh, in setting up the recurve is we're going to remove, we're going to gain access to the amp. So we're actually just going to take it out for a second and I'm going to show you how to wire it up. All right, so I'm going to pull these tabs off. There should be three of them. I don't know what I do with the third one. Just a piece of plastic, pop it up, or pop it up. I usually like to put all these in a box because it's easy to lose this stuff. Okay, then. I'm not sure if you can see that in the video, but on this side there's a piece of carpet, on this side there's a piece of carpet. 10 millimeter bolt. One, two, three. <clears throat> Alright, this gives us access to the wiring. And more importantly, um, I'm going to go ahead and pull this off. Just If you've seen the other videos, you already know, you just pinch these and they slide right out. Pinch this one. And this one. And before you start, I always recommend, of course, since we took out the seat, uh, you want to kill the battery before you start any of this. So basically, all I've done is unplug the amp for now. It's going to give me access, pull this back, to my ground here, to this ground here. We've already run this back to the recurve, as you saw earlier in the video. Now, the harness, I overdid it a little bit on the tape on this one, please forgive me. And then this, what you're going to do is you've got the red and the black. We need to, these are an extra step that are not part of the uh, non-JBL system. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the ground. We're going to attach it here. I'm pretty sure you can see that in the video. Let me see. Yeah. And then the red, we've actually got to splice into this blue wire here. And I'll show you how to do that. It's really simple. The best way to do it is soldering it. This particular customer asked us not to modify the truck at all, so I'm going to use a tap. Uh, I'm not a big fan of taps. They work pretty well, but that's not my favorite thing to use. So I'm going to show you how to use a tap. We're going to connect this. Then basically you're going to take the recurve wiring, you plug it into here, plug it back into the amp, put everything back in place, and you're done. All right, for this step you're going to need a set of uh, wire strippers, crimpers, like this. You can get these at your local hardware store pair of needle nose. Um, I'm going to be using something a little bit different just because we do this all the time and I want to be quicker. These take a couple extra little steps. Well, I'll probably still use these. Okay, the first thing is, all right, so we need to connect this red wire to this blue wire. And this color may vary, so I'm going to show you the. this is the, the actual harness. And if you look here, I'll let you get a close-up. You can zoom in on this, I hope. Um, but you can see it's the first pin. What we're after is this signal. What this does is it actually turns, when, the, when you turn the stereo on, this sends a signal to turn the amp on and off. The ground, that's too, pretty quick. Get that out of the way. Take that. That's done. And then you're going to take the um, tap. Now we'll send you some. We'll send a couple of these along. 
But basically you want to take, let me see if I can zoom in, see this little metal, um, this little metal opening here, this U shape, you're going to take that and you're going to put it right here on the wire. Let's see if I can see that. Move my hand out of the way. Basically all you're going to do is close it, take the needle nose, and you'll hear it click. At that point you've tapped into the wire, so that gives us access to that signal. Now I need to take this, oh, where are we, and we're going to attach it to this red wire here. Like I said, I'm going to go the short route, so I'm going to take these, strip that. Your wire crimpers will do that, but we do hundreds of these, so I try and make it as quick as possible. This, I'm going to crimp this down. You're going to take this wire, make sure you, you center up that spade there, plug it in. Okay. Then we're going to take, put everything back down, pull the, pull the wiring through that I need. Now when you plug these back in here, into the amp, be gentle. This is a printed circuit board here, and you can damage the circuit. You can damage the board if you're too rough on it. So don't be, don't be abusive on the amp. So basically, you're going to take this, pop it back down. Come on. Okay. Plug these back in. Plug this one in. Make sure you still got good connection. And I'm trying to rush through this, so obviously you can take your time. Come on. Alright, so goes back under here, tuck all this under here, I won't waste your time on that, and then you're done, you're ready to put the seat back in. Alright, I thought I would uh, zoom in and show you guys a close up of the um, wire harness that we tapped into. So if you look, this is the top of the amp, let me move this cord out of the way, this is the top of the amplifier, and you can see right here, pin number one, which in this, oops, there it is. Pin number one, which in this case happens to be blue, is the wire that we tapped into. You can see that there. Now, Toyota seems to vary. So every now and then they change the colors. So we'll update our site, obviously, as each year goes by. But we've noticed that this varies from year to year. Some, the, the purpose is the same, but sometimes they change the color of the wiring. So anyhow, I wanted to get you guys a close-up of the wire you're tapping into. It's pin number one. If you're looking at the top of the amp, it's the pin all the way to the right and the top. Of course, the middle plug is where the recurve is plugging into. And then this is a, one of the stock harnesses. Mm -hmm. 